Congressman Devin Nunes, a man who himself has been vilified, smashed, and smeared in much of the same fashion, joins us now. Congressman, you were there uh, in the room. Uh, the president's getting uh, smashed and hit again yeah. because of his tone and because he, I guess, didn't send a, a fruit basket to Nancy and Adam. Well, I thought the best thing today was, and I found out about this when I walked out, he actually had a speech. He was going to go out there and give a speech that his people had worked on, they had approved everything in it. And as you, you know, when you were there, he said, nah, I'm not going to give a speech. We're just going to celebrate today. And he just had a list of all the people there, and he went around the room, was introducing people. Uh, and, and the president needed to do that, and the American people need to continue to hear this. The more times the president can talk about how dirty they were to him, his family, to anyone who got involved uh, in this, trying to get to the truth, he needs to do it. I mean, if we had time, we really would have played some of the golden oldies of the past three years. Just so people r realize, he didn't just pop out today after a week or two or two months or three months of difficult attacks during impeachment that were all lies. This has been built up over four, four and a half years yeah. of what they've done to him since he announced in 2015 that he was running. Right. And he's had just about enough of it. And I can tell you, I've had just about enough of it. I'm all for a vigorous debate and things get tough, big deal, no, no, no problem. But when you say you're guilty of treason, you're working with Vladimir Putin, you're running a criminal enterprise, and you go after Melania, and you go after his kids who, who gave up their own cushy life, uh, the, who were working in the White House? Well, one thing we know, when they run out of ideas, they go to Russia. Okay? That's all and they have. Even today, in the Capitol, right across the street here, we had one of the Democrats in a committee hearing actually float the idea that the reason the Iowa debacle is going on possibly could be because of the Russians. Yeah, we're going to. I mean, it's, it's incredible. They never stop blaming Russia. Well, today we had some of the other folks melting down. Nicole Wallace on MSNBC and a few others. Continue the tradition of what we, what we shared with our viewers tonight. Watch. He was attacking and making clear the consequences for anyone that crosses him. If you stand with me, if you'll be one of my sycophants, you can come to the White House and I will praise you on national television. You'll be part of the team and you'll be rewarded. And if you're not, I will come at you with everything I have. So Andrew Reisman is on a team. It's a mafia family. It's a shock that Trump doesn't just uh, you know, rush to the set of MSNBC to join them for a real conversation about China trade, Syria, anything. Yeah, the most important thing that the president has done, of all, of all the things that he's done are very important, but he's finally outed the media. The media in this town has been corrupt, uh, and it took somebody like Trump to finally bring them out of their shell to where now they'll just openly go out, they'll tweet about it late at night, they get drunk, they send drunk, drunk tweets out, uh, and they're, they're vicious to him and Republicans. And I, I continue to try to get our Republicans to wake up in the Capitol, we should not be talking to the mainstream media. They are assassins. They're working for the other team. Um, today, Marie Ivanovich, former ambassador to Ukraine, who Trump uh, relieved of her duty, uh, headline, these are turbulent times, but we will persist and prevail. I'd always thought of that our institutions would forever protect us against individual transgressors, but it turns out that our institutions need us as much as we need them. They need the American people to protect them or they'd be hollowed out over time, unable to serve and protect our country. Apparently, Marie Ivanovich thinks that she has a life tenure right to be ambassador to any country. Yeah, well, look, there's a reason why she got fired, okay? And this is one of the things we could never really get out because we couldn't bring in witnesses. Uh, but, you know, we had people that we were ready to bring in that said that she was anti-Trump, espousing anti-Trump administration views while she was ambassador in Ukraine. It's her boss. So she's lucky that we couldn't bring any actual witnesses What's in because your power there are people now? that wanted to testify against her. What's your power in the minority to, to get answers? Well, all we can do, we, have, we don't have subpoena power. So if they don't give us witnesses, and you know, that's the whole, I mean, we talked about you this gotta win. You gotta win back We gotta win the back the majority. You've got right. to win back. That's the ultimate right. punishment for what they've done. That is correct. And if, we, if we win back the House, then you get you get Schiff and Nadal and these guys. But are you going to win it back by giving roses to the other side by saying, "Oh, I'm so so I'm so sorry you impeached me"? No, I think we win. Or do it. you win it back by being a fighter? We win it. Well, you have to fight, and part of that fight includes 
not saying stupid things and cooperating with the media who are really working for the Democrats. It's, it's such a key because we're already at a disadvantage with the tech companies who are who are monitoring and Oh, they're and suppressing content. tweets. They're My suppressing. tweets are suppressed. I mean, it's so obvious. Congressman, we'll be tracking this. Thank you for being with us. Always and a you've been you've been in the crosshairs of all of this now for 3 years yourself. Thank uh, you. So thank you.